I'm Dr. Dan, and I'm talking to you from Old Vitamin Pro, and t today's topic is vitamin E. And if you read through some of the popular press, you might think that vitamin E is a little bit controversial, and maybe not that much has been done to prove that it's effective. But, but that's really not the, the truth, and I'm going to go through some of that with you today. And all of these references that, that you know, I won't give you these on the video, but they are on my website. So if you look at vitamin E on my website, you'll find, uh, find this uh, brief article about about vitamin E and, and um, what science has been done to support it. Now vitamin E is, is a um, antioxidant which means that it will help uh, protect your cells from death. And of course if you have no cells die then you have something called disease. So keeping your cells alive and healthy is part of the job of vitamin, vitamin E and its friends like vitamin C, glutathione, NAC, and SOD, etc. So let's just kind of go through this list. And again, you can look at the ovitaminpro.com and see more about that, more about this in detail. Um, vitamin E actually reduces the oxygen oxygen requirement of tissues. Now, obviously, if uh, you're, the more oxygen, the better utilization of oxygen in your cells, the healthier they're going to be. It also can melt fresh clots and prevent embolisms. Now that's kind of cool. So you know, that, that's going to um, reduce the effect of things like strokes and maybe uh, deep vein thrombosis and that kind of stuff. Um, it improves collateral circulation. Collateral circulation means that it helps uh, branching of arteries so that your so those tissues get more than just one blood supply, but they, they branch out to make sure that all the tissues get good blood. Uh, it's a vasodilator. And again, um, that's going to help get oxygen to the tissues. It can occasionally lyse scar tissue because sometimes they'll find that it will, um, you know, will help to eliminate uh, scarring or or uh, lower scarring because that's the next one. Uh, prevent scar contracture as it wounds. Um, so, you know, as uh, the wounds heal. Now, as uh, you, you've seen scars that can shrink up and you know cause. Uh, deformities and so some people have noticed over the years that just rubbing a little bit of vitamin E on his car will help it. It decreases the insulin requirement in about one-fourth of diabetics. So if you're diabetic you want to make sure you get a little bit of vitamin E every day. Um, it's one of the regulators of fat and protein metabolism. It stimulates muscle power. It preserves capillary walls. So you know it basically helps to keep your vascular system healthy and of course keeping the capillary walls healthy is going to be uh, going to be beneficial. Prevents he uh, hemolysis of red blood cells so again it's helping keep those red blood cells healthy and it also is an anti-inflammatory. Now those are all good reasons to use uh, basic um, alpha tocopherol and it, sometimes it comes in uh, the D form or the DL form and some uh, some people prefer just the D form that seems to be more nat occurring natural on nature. The DL form is more of a synthetic, but some studies have shown that the DL form actually works as well. So, and another thing, there's a form of vitamin E called called eco-tocotrienols, and that's very effective at lowering blood sugar. So there you have some some good reasons to uh, supplement vitamin E. So thanks a lot for listening. Hope hopefully that was helpful.